Crow Music Lab. So this is my paper piano right here. And what I want you to see is, um, just like we were talking about before, it's just the major scale. The Do, Re, Mi is all of the white keys of the piano. So we got Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. So the word that we want to talk about is interval. Um, so in, if we're talking about distance and we're talking about measuring things, to measure distance, we're going to use inches, we're going to use feet, we're going to use yards, we're going to use um, miles. In music, the measuring stick that we have is the major scale. So that's the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. So each one of those um, Do, Re, Mi words um, also corresponds to a number. Okay, so number one, Do, that's the root. Okay. Now the distance from do to re, uh, re is, a, is, is two, so do to re, that's a second, all right? Mi is the third, so do to mi is the third. Okay, fa is the fourth note, so do to fa is a fourth. Do to sol is a fifth. Do to la is a sixth. Do to t is a seventh. Do to do is an octave. How many legs does an octopus have? Eight. Okay, so in the key of C, I like to think of the C like the ocean. We've got our anchor note, okay? The anchor's at the bottom of the ocean. And then we have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Octopus, eight. Eight legs. We get back to the eighth right there. So Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and look, that's the seventh day of the week, about to start over, we're back at Monday, all right? Um, so in terms of the step sequencer, I do think of these as steps. So we start with the first step. This is the ground floor, Do, okay? Do, second step, Mi is the third step, Fa is the fourth step, Sol is the fifth step, La is the sixth step, T is the seventh step, and then hey look, now we're on the second floor, okay? So um, we are going to uh, put this into the step sequencer right now and uh, apply it. So um, I'm just gonna start out with, um, we're gonna just do intervals in relationship to the root note. All right, so I'm just gonna make a bunch of roots here. There's a root, there's a root. All right, we're planting some seeds here. Okay, those are all our roots. Okay, so the first one, we're just gonna leave the root. Now, oops. Now, this, the next root, the second, we're gonna put the second note right here. In fact, we're going to not play it at the same time so you can really hear it. So um, there's the second note. Now for this, uh, for the third root, we're gonna put the third. Fourth, sol, la, ti, do. All right, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit so you can hear. So, do, do, re, do, mi, do, fa, do, sol, do, la, do, ti, do, do. All right, those are the octaves, the distance between tones, all right? So, do to re is a second, do, do, re, do, mi, do, fa, do, sol, do, la, do, ti. Oh man, now I messed up. Let me see. Ti, there we go. Ti, do, that's the octave. Do, 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 ti, do, la, do, sol, do, Fa, do, mi, do, re, do. So I only have one voice. Um, so I can't actually do a harmony by myself, but using the step maker, we can do harmonies where you can do two voices at a time. Anytime you have two or more voices, it is a chord, it is a harmony, all right? And that's what we're really um, trying to work on today is find these harmonies. Okay, so I want you to hear this. 
All right. Do. Second. Third. All right, you can hear that. Okay, so um, moving on, um, these intervals, the one that we're gonna focus on the most uh, right now is, is the third, okay? Now, each note in the scale, we're, gonna, we're actually gonna build um, a harmony from each note in the scale. So, Do gets a third, Re gets a third, Mi gets a third, they all get a third from the note that um, basically we're treating each note in the scale as a root now, a root now. Each, um, yeah, each note is a root, all right. So, Do is the root. Now the third, Do, Re, Mi, is the third. This is where it gets confusing because Re is the second, but it's also a root of its own harmony, all right. So, we got Re, which is the root, Mi is the second, Fa is the third, all right? So, based off of what we're gonna be calling the two chord, Re is the root, Fa is the third, all right? And I made a piece of paper that has this as a reference right here, um, and there's gonna be a link so you can download it, just, just so you can remember, because it, it does get confusing. And this is in color in the um, piece of paper, this thing that I made, the PDF file. Okay, so we're gonna continue on with this, making thirds. So the third of, um, the third is, what's three plus three? Six, all right? Um, we got the fourth. Oh wait, no, I messed that up. The third, the root of the three is three, right? Um, the second is four and the third is the fifth, all right? So this is this is really confusing. Um, if someone was telling me this, it probably would not make any sense to me. So it's really, I think just visually, to see that it's every other note, that's kind of the way that I've always thought about it. Um, and that's, that's, that's all, I'm, I'm just gonna go with that for now and hope that that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, we're basically each note has a root. So, and a root and a third, all right? This is called the harmonized scale. So we're taking that original scale, the do, re, mi, and we're harmonizing with it. Each note has a third above it, okay? We're stacking a third on top. Let's hear how that sounds. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, octave. Okay. Now, each note in the scale is a root of its own chord. Um, but right now, these are just thirds, and what we are actually really going for is we want not only to have the third, we wanna have the fifth in relationship to the root. So we wanna have the root, third, and fifth for each one of these notes. And what that creates is called a triad, because a triad is three. There's three notes, the root, the third, and the fifth. Now, each one of these notes um, is gonna have a root, third, and fifth. Every single note is gonna, like, do is uh, the root of the one chord, re is the root of the two chord, mi is the root of the three chord, and so on. Um, just like when we were learning about the intervals earlier, each note is, each note in the scale is a root of its own chord that has a third and fifth on top of it, all right? So, this first one we're gonna add, so we got do, re, mi, fa, sol. All right, so we got the root, third, and fifth right here. All right, now for um, the two chord, we're gonna have the two, four, six. All right, two, four, six. Keep in mind that's also on this piece of paper here as a reference. So this bottom row right here, the bottom row is all the roots, okay? I'm gonna, you can see my mouse on there. That is all the roots, okay? The second layer here, this is all the thirds, all right? And then this third layer, this is all the fifth. So let's fill that in. All right, so there we go. We got the root of the one chord, one, three, five, 
we got two four six, we got three five seven, we got four six one, we got five seven two, we got six one three, we got seven two four, and we got one three five. All right, let's hear what that sounds like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Those are all of the chords in diatonic harmony, all right? Those are all of the triads. Um, so the first one, because we're in the C scale, um, is C major. The two chord is D minor. This is also on the piece of paper. The three chord is E minor. The four chord is F major. The five chord is G major. The six chord is A minor. The seven chord is B diminished. And the eighth chord is also the one chord, and that's C major. We don't really need to remember that they're major or minor or that they're letters for right now. All we need to know is that the chord is based off of the what scale degree it is, what interval it is, okay? Or even just being able to say it's the Do chord or it's the Fa chord. Um, that's, that's pretty good, too. Um, so... The, the common language that people do use, though, is the, the one that's based off of the numbers, all right? Some people call this the Nashville number system. Um, a lot of times when people are learning music, um, this the, they use this system a lot of just... Because uh, the numbers really describe how the chords are related to each other. It doesn't matter what key they're in, okay? So we've got all these chords, and what we're going to do is I'm going to make a chord progression just to show you kind of the practical aspect of this. And um, let's see, what do I mean by that? So we're gonna get rid of the two chord. Oops. We're gonna get rid of the six chord. And we're gonna get rid of the octave chord, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the four chord over here, all right? And the five chord's already where I want it to be. The reason I'm looking at the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord, these are the most common chords, all right? So let's duplicate this four chord in this last measure. So we got the first measure right here, second measure, third measure, fourth measure, all right? I'm gonna put a bass drum, each one of these one beats. Each measure has um, four beats in it. So I'm putting the, the bass drum on the one, putting the snare beat there, just so we can kind of keep time. I'm gonna make this a little bit faster. Okay, now I'm gonna play a one, four, five, four chord progression. One, four, five, four, one, four, five, four, all right, let's duplicate that just for fun. So we got two chords. Kind of starting to see how this works. Okay. One, one, four, four, five, five, four, four. One, four, four, five, five, four. C is the one, four is the F, G is the five, four is the F. So it does become useful to understand as you, you know, we do want to tie this back to the instrument um, as we go, but mainly we're just focused on how does it apply to song maker? Because once you really understand this, applying it to an instrument um, becomes a lot easier. Um, so. That is pretty much it for today. We covered the intervals and um, how each note in each interval is the root of its own chord. Um, each chord has a root and then in relationship to that root, a third and a fifth. So what's what kind of is confusing is that we have, um, you know, seven notes that are in relationship to the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then each one of those notes has, um, you know, intervals in relationship to that that make a chord right you got a one three five for the one chord a one three five for the two chord a one three five for the three chord and so on but what it, those one three five they relate to different numbers in relationship to the scale 
So um, just by messing with this um, and seeing this written out and using these reference sheets, um, I think that this will start to um, kind of make sense. Um, so we did a chord progression one, four, five. I would encourage you to mess around. Let's, um, let's say we could take this uh, down. Um, so instead of a four, we're gonna make it a three. How about that? Oops. All right, and then we're gonna make this uh, five. We're gonna make it a six, just for fun. Moving it all up. All right, so we've got the first measure is a one chord, then we got a three chord, and then we got a six chord, and then we got a four chord. So the one chord is C, the three chord is E minor, um, the six chord is A minor, and then the four chord is F. So let's hear what that sounds like. C, E chord, A chord, six chord, four F. All right, that pretty much sums it up for today. So thank you for tuning in. Um, in the next lesson, we're going to cover inversions, which is how we can rearrange these notes. So uh, tune into the next one. All right. Thank you.